this guy wow so waiting for cross traffic it does see the cars on the other side of the road so that would have been a good time to go and we're gonna miss it again i'm hitting the accelerator because we're stopping and i don't want to stop <laughs> Right as that guy passes, we then continue. There's another car coming and boom, we stop. Oh my gosh, such a good job. And that is really inappropriate. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. We are on the latest update, 2020.44.15.4, I believe. I actually just put up a video today, I mean today when I'm filming, and as that's uploading, the car gets an update, making the old video still partially relevant but now the system's better than it was so if you're watching these videos please keep up with the latest ones to see what the system is capable of at that time because we are just getting so many updates with this also disclaimer full self-driving beta is not finished it can and will make mistakes i'm ready to take over at any time all that stuff blue steering wheel means the car is doing all the maneuvers but again i'm in control if i want to take over that's me taking over you know i did so we're going to go back into Ann Arbor today. It's just a really good spot to test. We'll probably do a lot of videos there and I can do it on my lunch. <laughs> um, and so we're going into Ann Arbor. We got a roundabout we're about to hit here. We're, oh, I got to stop saying hit. A roundabout we're about to uh, try to get through. Now, I've never been able to do this roundabout and go to the third exit. It's taken the first exit, the second exit, third exit. It's failed on every time I've tried it. So hopefully it can do that. I also will mention, see, this is still, oh, okay. I have also had an error here where it will get in the left turn lane when we don't want that. So let's see if that won't happen. That'd be great. I also want to mention subscribers, like 70 to 80% of people watching are not subscribed. If you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If even half of the people who've been watching my channel in the last month I just took over have subscribed, I'd be at 100K, get that sweet silver YouTube plaque. So we still have that little thing there. I can report that. I've already reported that. So I would assume that they're aware. <clears throat> So if I hit this, there we go. Now we will go through the roundabout, third exit. Hopefully the car can complete it this time and we can do that. So the path looks good on there. No need to really stop there, but oh, you, wow. <laughs> you can see it going around the whole circle. Hopefully it can do this. That would be a big improvement over older versions. Beautiful, wow, very good. Awesome. So it, it, this is why we got to keep up with the latest videos. Maybe I'll mark the old ones old or something because it couldn't do that before. It could not make it to the third exit and was doing a terrible job. So let's get into downtown. Just going to try to make this a quick video. These video, videos have been so long. So let's just let it get going. Now here's a spot I had trouble with a long time ago where the car would actually try to go into the opposite lane of traffic. I made a whole video just about that. Handles that perfectly, no problem there. Lucky us, we get to go through another roundabout. Yes, it's also snowing, I didn't even mention because no big deal for the system uh, so far. Now, people want snow on the ground, obviously can't control that. We may be getting that tomorrow, I'll see what I can do. Another beautiful job going through the roundabout. That time we hit the second exit. That time we went through the second exit. What a bad habit. And it did a great job. So yeah, I, I'm looking for snow on the ground for you, but it just, it hasn't been that cold. We haven't had that much snow. So waiting for our turn, it does see this car making that left. Car complete stop. It says it's creeping, checking for visibility, but it's not really moving. Now we have a green light and it's just gonna go. And that's great. It is time to go. Really nice right turn. Going through that yellow, I think that was the right decision. We were pretty close to it. I will also mention streets. You can see our wet from the snow. It's again, warm enough that the snow is not um, gonna stick. And the car's handling the wet roads really well. Right as the light turns green, the car puts on the left indicator to change lanes. We don't really need to, but we can. Let's see, the person next to us is gonna speed up. So hopefully we can go behind them. Really good, the, okay. Is he gonna do it? There we go. It's a little timid on that lane change, but it is doing it. I will also mention the wipers are on automatic. So the car is kind of handling everything. If the cameras up here, need to be cleaned off, the car's gonna do it. I'm not interfering with that either.
you can see the lights glow. The glowing lights, see how that one's now glowing? The glowing lights kind of indicate the car knows those are for our lanes. This guy, wow. <laughs> he, he cut that a little close and the car actually handled it pretty well. It braked just a little bit at the end there and that was fine. So the glowing lights indicate uh, the lights that are for our lane that the car is kind of using for direction. The non-glowing lights are lights that we're ignoring. We don't need to listen to at that time. So going to change destinations really quick. Something we've had a little bit of an issue with in the past. So if I give it a second, just cancel that, let the car do its thing. And we can go here, looks fine, I guess. So it's changing lanes really for no reason at that point because it didn't have any navigation in. It's gonna have to change back, which is fine. And pretty aggressive and strange there, but it did the lane change. Now it's slowing for this yellow light, which it's so weird, I'll report that. I haven't had a problem with yellow lights on uh, really any of the previous builds. Maybe a little bit of slowing. That yellow light specifically has been okay. And moving over for these parked cars, coming up to this left turn, hard brake for really no reason. Probably thought that we had to be behind this car, but we don't. Not too big of a deal, no slipping or anything like that. And if you've been watching the videos, you've seen this left turn once or twice now. And it does okay. I almost always hit the accelerator through this turn and there's somebody behind me. So I hate to tell you, I probably will hit it again. Camera's a bit dirty, even though I did clean it off earlier. The rear camera. I don't think the beta uses, I don't think any autopilot uses the rear camera to make decisions. I may be wrong, uh, but I just, based off the behavior, I don't think so. So moving through this green, I have not touched anything yet. It's a little slow. Yeah, so I'm hitting the accelerator now. It's just, it's too slow. And it's like gonna miss the light, yellow, people behind me are gonna be mad. I just don't really wanna deal with that. All right, I put in a different destination. I think it'll be a little more difficult for the car. And that is really inappropriate. Not what we want to do. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Come on. You got a left turn here. Are you going to be able to handle it? There we go. Okay. So it moved into this left turn lane. Those are the kind of things I just dislike because I don't want people around me thinking there's something wrong with me. And we'll miss this light, which seems to be pretty common for the beta to do because it doesn't move up on a green. There's arguments in the comments <laughs> from you guys. Is it supposed to move up when it's green or stay here? People say both things. I do not know what the law is. I remember hearing you're not supposed to move up there, but that's how everybody drives here. That's how I drive. So waiting for cross traffic, it does see the cars on the other side of the road. Now here is where people argue, should it be moving up to the middle or should it wait back here? I personally move up to the middle. I've had comments going both ways. I probably will hit the accelerator here because I don't want to miss. We do have a pedestrian over there, but they are tracked. Waiting for cross traffic. Pretty busy. How will we ever turn left here? So that would have been a good time to go and we're going to miss it again. So I think next time I will just force the car if we don't make it. All right, our next green light. Again, I'm going to make it go if it's not going to go. Yep, so the car's going to miss. I'm going to do that because otherwise we're never going to make it. So you guys can yell at me for that move if you like. I think in the city that might be kind of, oh my gosh, even the person behind me turned left there. That's so funny. So I'm good. Even if there was a cop, I think he'd nail the guy behind me before me. Moved over nicely to the right for this right turn. And here we go. Wow, very confident, very good. Man, so it just, it goes back and forth between like a little too timid and amazing. Turns like that, changing lanes over, making the right, and here we are, just kind of blows you away. I'm, I'm not used to this yet in that it's still super exciting for me to experience it all the time. So I'm really enjoying this. Those little hiccups, I don't think are too big of a deal. At least it's not a safety concern back there. It's just more of an annoyance than anything. Nice turn signal there. A little bit of a weird left turn here. It's green. I'm hitting the accelerator because we're stopping and I don't want to stop. <laughs> I just, I don't want to miss any more lights. There's, again, there's people behind me. Okay, I, I barely touched the accelerator on that one. It just needed a little nudge and it completed that move. Another thing I will mention, if you've been 
following the, the videos, in older, whoa, whoa, what the heck are we doing here? Okay, that was not really great, but okay. Wow, that was a really strange left turn, but it handled it, so I, I'm okay with that. I mean, yeah, we did we go through a red light? Kind of. Stopping, rolling. With the, what I was gonna mention, the turn signal. So I was having a little bit of weirdness with turn signals kind of blinking on and off. It's not really doing that anymore, a little bit, but before it was turning the turn signal on for like half a mile before my turn or something, which was strange. I'm not really getting that anymore. So handle this left turn, I'll put in our final destination and we will be done. Today has been pretty impressive besides a little bit of timidness. So right turn and it'll stop us here because this is our destination. So I'm gonna take over for just a second. Okay, so final destination has been put into the system. So left turn here without a green arrow, waiting for cross traffic. This is gonna be another one. I'm hitting the accelerator, hate to tell you. All right, maybe not. Yep, oh, no, nope, nope, nope. There it goes. Hey, all right, ooh, this is a tight squeeze. Ooh, all right, that one scared me a little too much. It might have been okay. Ooh, it showed all those garbage cans, that was cool. But a uh, little, little too nerve wracking for me, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, that was a tight squeeze. I did, it did go through the green nicely, but then I got a little too close to that car for my comfort. <laughs> Waiting for our turn. That was interesting. I think it's just a coincidence, but we passed the cop and then we make the complete stop. Hmm, maybe there are police neural nets already. <laughs> you can see the cop. It's like, oh, we need to make a complete stop this time. Nice job through that intersection. Even better than the, I assume, human in front of us. Pretty interesting intersection there. Nice three-way stop, handled really well. The, I will say this build seems very nice. Uh, not perfect, of course, we're not perfect yet. Uh, so this is kind of weird. You don't need to stop there or use a turn signal. I'm just, I didn't touch anything, I let it do its thing. So here's a pretty interesting little thing. I've never done this myself, but we're going under this bridge and it looks like we're coming up and then we'll drive onto the bridge. The really, I mean, looks like a kind of sharp right turn. Maybe it's just a normal right turn. Just, I don't know, looks interesting on the map, but actually I thought it would be more complicated than this, but no big deal. The system handles it fine. We have a red light. We can turn right on red. There's no sign. People were asking if it won't turn right on red, if there's a no turn right on red sign. I don't know, I have not experienced that yet. You have traffic coming from the left and the car seems to be fine waiting for that. Right as that guy passes, we then continue. There's another car coming and boom, we stop. Oh my gosh, such a good job. Creeping a little bit more, which is great. That car passes and we're good. So here we go. Wow, wow, wow. That is just so good and so creepy <laughs> like a human. Oh, I love it. I mean, there were two cars that waited, started to go, another car came, it stopped. So good, so good. So I'll wrap this one up and just say the, the improvements, I mean, the improvements are here. Every update, every build, we're seeing noticeable improvements, big improvements. Is it done? No. Is it gonna be done even when it goes to the public build? No. Even the highway, full self-driving is, is labeled beta. The navigate and autopilot, you still have to pay attention, you still have to keep a hand on the wheel. Part of that is because of regulation, part of, it the, part of it is because the system just simply isn't completely done. But I compare this to when we got automatic lane changes initially with Navigate on Autopilot. They were not that good. And six months later or something, they were so good, they never canceled anymore. They would do some weird stuff. I don't wanna waste too much time. They weren't very good. They got really good to the point where auto lane changes or even asking the car to do a lane change are perfect. I would call them perfect. Of course, they're not gonna do everything 100% perfect 100% of the time, but neither is a human. Neither am I, neither are you. So this is gonna be there. We're gonna have these weird kind of goofy things. And I think in a year, not saying it'll take that long for the public release, but I think in a year, this thing is gonna be so good. 
people are going to be blown away. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments. I've been reading them and I, I love all your comments. I love most of your comments. <laughs> it is a lot of fun talking with you guys. So please leave those down there and I will be reading them and get back to you. You will see me and Full Self Driving Beta in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 